through here. Beer for breakfast, facts for snacks. Oh man, gotta shave. Um, another beer for tonight, and then that's it. Uh, we're talking about a Molson product. Uh, fairly new. I've had it, I think, in the fridge for, well, not that long, because it's just a, it's a, probably about a month now. A month now, and, um, I, I want to try it. I want to give it a shot. Uh, and we're, 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 we're talking about Molson Common Bond Lager with, uh, it's a collaboration with J.P. Weiser's, uh, Canadian Rye Whiskey Canadian, um, uh, it's, it's brewed with whiskey aged hops. Try something different, eh, guys? This is out of my league. I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to get into whiskeys. I did a whiskey review, but it was a, uh, it was a, a, a Crown Royal Apple the other day with Amber. I have another whiskey to do, and I'll, I'll, I'll buy a couple whiskeys here and there, vodkas, and do a review on them down the road. But uh, I, I really want, I, I was looking in the fridge and I was going to do over the ocean beer again, another another couple more. And I said, you know what, I'm going to stay local, well not local, but here. And I was going to uh, <clears throat> actually do a craft beer. And I said, I haven't done craft beer in, really, in, a, in like really in a few days. So tomorrow, after I get out, I'll just do a craft beer review tomorrow night. Yeah, I, I'll do a craft beer tomorrow night. Anyways, Mosin Common Bond Lager. Uh, an uncommon lager crafted by two of the Canadians, Canadian, Canada's, sorry, Canadians, Canada's oldest barrel brothers, <clears throat> using select hops aged in J.P. Weiser's Deluxe Whiskey. Which I should do a review on J.P. Weiser's whiskey here. Um, limited edition. So realistically, if I see this again, I think I'll grab a couple more cans. Beautiful little can. I had to get it. Um, let me read a little description here. Uh, I don't know. There's vanilla. There's this. Two of the can is largest. Yeah. Uh, the co collaboration is the first of its kind for the two Canadian beverage pioneers, which are... Among the oldest in the nation, Mosin Coors traces uh, its fa founding to 1786, while J.P. Weiser's was uh, established in 1857. Uh, they, they celebrate a, sh a shared appreciation for craftsmanship while admittingly tested the limits of style. We've created something quite unique for the marketplace. <clears throat> Senior beverage development specialist, his name is Andy, uh, of Mosin Coors, of a 6.1% alcohol by volume lager. We wanted to something special, try something special that had never been done. Uh, there's so much on this. Um, it, like, it says, go, 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 go. Uh, it's a little unique common bond per. So let's, I want to go on untapped. I spent $3 a can. So what I really want to do is uh, when I find it again, I'm going to go pick up two more, just put them in the fridge and have them for summertime because limited edition. I don't like when it's limited edition. So I want things where I could get year round. Uh, no, it's light toasted oak and vanilla. Uh, let's go back. Let's go to Untapped, uh, an uncommon lager crafted by two Canada Otis Barrel Brothers. Uh, 6.1, 3.27 out of 5 with 163 ratings. And I'm going to go, uh, I'll, I'll check out if it's here. Watch this, watch. I'm gonna go to Rate Beer and see what they say. The Rate Beer, and then let's let's get into this. Uh, commercial, da 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 da. Oh, I've never been on Rate Beer before. This, there's a lot of stuff. Woo! Motion Brewing, Motion Coors. Okay, this is something I'm gonna to have to read into later because there's a lot of stuff happening here. Let's get into this beer, guys. Um, 
I just got it. Ooh, I, there's a lot of smoke coming over there. Um, quite a bit actually. Let's get into it. Uh, half, uh, half my pour, right, and then half Brian the beer snobs pour. All right. Let's see what I get in here. Um, that is a lager. It's a little darker, filtered, lie head as you can see. All right. I get a little bit of whiskey note in there. I really do. Breadiness, biscuit. Uh, a little bit of grapefruit, uh, maybe for IBUs. I don't know what kind of hops they use for the uh, the whiskey barrel hops, the whiskey aged hops, maybe, but. I'm getting more of a breadiness biscuit, a maltiness to this, um, no sweetness, maybe tiny little bit of like a fruity note to it, like a dried fruit to this. Yeah, more of a dried fruit to this. Looks great, the upside down snowfall. I think uh, in the near future, I'm going to be doing half my pour, half frying the beer snobs pour most of the time, unless I forget and do mine. But... Um, I, I'm finding maybe that might work out for my taste notes better than just right down the center is down half of it and then the rest. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I could still open up some notes like even the Louisiana Beer Review. Ronald, he always says <clears throat> it, it, it creates more earthiness to it. Um, so maybe I'll try half and half and see how that works. That, see, how, see if I can get into it. Maybe that's my way of getting into the pour. Okay, guys, let's go into the, let's go into the, uh, yeah, a little, little sippy poo here. Malty notes, brightiness, dank in the back, smooth. You don't get 6.1. Wow, I'm going to have to get a couple more. I, I am going to grab, uh, Probably just a six pack, so I have it in the fridge. I, I don't think you can, you can't age lagers really, but I'm pretty sure I can buy a couple of these uh, because it's March and drink them May 2 4 weekend because that's only two months on the road. I'm pretty sure I could do that and they'll still be fine. And uh, yeah, I, if you don't think so, uh, comment down below. It's probably best to drink it fresh, but. If I can hold it up for a two and a half months on a May 2 for weekend camping and maybe do a review camping, then that, that'd be cool. Um, wow, that breadiness, a little bit of vanilla. Nice. That's that's excellent, guys. This is fantastic. Mosin Common Bond. Uh, I always say try something different. Uh, this is a little bit out of my league because I'm not a huge... I'm trying to get my uh, taste buds into drinking whiskey. This is damn good. You get a little bit of whiskey note to it. Uh, vanilla. I get, I'm get. i getting a little bit of... Like a, a little bit of like a coffee note back there. Damn. That, that's, that's fantastic, guys. Try something different. Try, if you see one of these in your beer store or liquor store, pick one up. For three dollars, I think it's well worth it. Six point one percent. It's not going to get you tanked, but you 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 drink a few of these, it'd be great. And I won't chug this, but it's so smooth, and it feels. Look at the little lacing in there. Like this is a well-made beer. They did a great job, and I think they were put. I think they marketed this really good and put some money towards this. I just kind of wish. They, uh, it's not a limited release because I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm picking up a few more. This is great. Uh, one more sip and I'll give my rating, guys. Try something different. Try a Mosin Common Bond Lager. You'll love it. Oh, yeah. That's a 7, 9 out of uh, 10, guys. 7, 9 out of 10. I can't believe how smooth that is. Uh, yeah, go out and get one of these. And if, if you could find one of these down in the States, guys, 
look for this. Trust me, it'd be well worth it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'll be back uh, tomorrow after I pick up my daughter uh, with uh, at least a beer review tomorrow. Anyways, have a great night. Be safe. Be kind to your neighbors. Cheers.